Okay, so in today's math lesson, what we uh, what we worked on was taking a look at ratios, unit rates, and rates, and then comparing them with one another. So on the top here, we have uh, some directions. We have to write each ratio as a rate. So I have a 434 to 7 ratio, and I need to turn that into a rate. Well, what that means is I want to make that as a, like a per value. In other words, if I was to build a chart around this thing or using this information, if this was a 7, and this is my 434, and here are my hours, and oh, here are my hours, and here are my miles, I want a 1 value right here. That's what it means to give me a rate. So uh, in one hour, how much time is that? Well, you can see, according to my little diagram here, my patterns here, I need to divide by 7. So 7 divided by 7 gives me 1, therefore 434 gives me, uh, divided by 7 gives me something else. So. I take my 434, divide it by 7. So there's a 6, there's a 42, and I get a value of 62. Okay? Which means my rate is 62 uh, miles per hour. Okay? So that would be my answer 62 miles per hour. All right? So for every hour, I'm going to travel 54 miles. All right? I can also write that simply as uh, 62 to 1. Okay? Now, the next one here is a little bit interesting, so we spent some time with that because it doesn't work out so nicely. Let me get rid of all this, actually. It doesn't work out so nicely. Well, not, not exactly at first, but through some drawings, we worked it out. Now I have a ratio of 5 to 4. Uh, so if I was to build my chart right away and put that 5 to 4 in, and I want a 1 value, so here's my 5 to 4, so I have laps per minute, and I want a 1 value here. I want to find out how far I can go in one minute. And I'm noticing that same pattern here. I have a divide by 4, divide by 4. So 4 divided by 4, 4 divided by 4 gives me 1. There's my 1. But over here, I have a 5 divided by 4. Well, 5 divided by 4, well, equals 5 fourths. All right, there it is. So if, even if I divide it, there's my 5 divided by 4. That's going to go 0 times. Um, I'm sorry, that will go um, 5 divided by 4. Right, so that, no, 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 that'll go once. And I get a 4. I subtract, I get 1. So here's my 1 fourth. 1 and 1 fourth, but that's also 5 fourths. No problem. So my 5 fourths goes in here like this. So 5 fourths of a lap per minute. And that makes sense, too, if I was to draw this out and kind of show where this comes from. Because for some kids, it just doesn't make any sense. I have 5 fourths of a lap per minute. Well, if I wanted 4 minutes worth, if I want to show that these guys are equivalent, what I would do is I would draw all four minutes. So in four minutes' time, I'm going to go um, five laps. Let's prove this at five-fourths of a lap per minute. So here's my five minutes, uh, excuse me, my four minutes right here. In four minutes' time, my four, excuse me, my four minutes, right, so here's minute one, minute two, minute three, and minute number four. I'm going to go five-fourths laps. There they are. First minute, second minute, third minute, fourth minute. Now according to my chart, I should go five laps by the time I'm done. Well, if I was to add these guys up, 5, 10, 15, 20, I get 20 fourths. Now 20 fourths, or 20 divided by 4, happens to equal 5. So there they are, my five laps. So if I'm going to go on a ratio, or use a ratio of 5 to 4, um, that's really a 5 fourths to 1 ratio. Okay? So I'm going five-fourths of a lap for every minute, or five laps for every four minutes. Keep that in mind, folks, because it gets a little, we're going to use that kind of information in a moment. Let's scroll down here to our first situation. We have Dave, and he likes to clean pools. Well, he cleans pools at a rate of three-fifths of a pool per hour. So for every hour, according to this, here we go, I'm going to draw this out. Lots of ways to do this, by the way. So I have pools, and I have hours. He's going to clean three-fifths of the pool for every hour, which means if I want uh, to turn this into a ratio, he's going to actually clean three pools in five hours, three pools in five hours' time. How do I know that? Well, if I was to take this three-fifths, and there's the first hour, right? There's hour number one, and add another hour to that, hour number two, there's three-fifths of a pool again, because it's three-fifths of a pool per hour. Here's hour number three, so we did three-fifths of a pool. Here's hour number four, three-fifths of a pool. Here's hour number five, 
three fifths to pull, I'm going to do three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen fifths total pools. Well, fifteen divided by five equals three, and there you have it, three pools worth. So my ratio to work in, you know, good whole numbers, which is really what I want to work in, I don't really want to work with fractions. If I'm doing three fifths of an hour, I'm really doing three pools in five hours. Now, how can I use this? Well, here's how I use this. You can use this chart wonderfully. Well, if I, how many pools can Dave clean in 10 hours? Well, I'm just going to plug in this 10 over here because I see that my pattern works wonderfully for this. So I have a times 2 right here. 5 times 2 gives me 10. Therefore, 3 times 2 gives me 6. And that tells me I'm going to, or Dave's going to, um, clean 6 pools in that amount of time. Okay? To use this another way, which is kind of cool, I can set up a tape diagram for this. So I have my pools and my hours, and it's a 3 to 5 ratio, which again is a wonderful ratio to use, especially with the whole numbers, because I can use a tape diagram, which is great. So once again, 10 hours time, if I'm going to make this worth 10 hours, here's my 3, by the way, 1, 2, 3 to 5, right? 1, 2, 3 for pools, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for hours. If the total's 10, that means each of these guys is worth 2 because 2 times 5 gives me 10, right? 2 times 5 gives me 10, which means all these guys are worth 2. And this is giving me the answer now of how many pools. So 3 units worth 2 apiece, 3 times 2 gives me 6, and there's my 6 for the number of pools. I'm doing it that way. Now how long does it take Dave to clean 15 pools? Well, I can set up the same scenario here with a tape diagram. Pools, hours, it's the same ratio, folks. 1, 2, and 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And if it's 15 pools, that's this value right here. That's 15 for this guy. Which means if I have three boxes, that's three apiece. Oh, excuse me, five for each. Five times three gives me 15. That means all of these guys are worth five. And since I have five sets of five, I know right away it's going to take Dave 25 hours to actually clean that pool. Now I can actually, I can do that over here too. I can take that the pools and put the 15 in here and I try to figure things out because I have a pattern here which is nice. I can take this 3 and say, how do I get from 3 to 15? That's a multiply by 5. When I do the same thing with this guy, it's Buddy over there in the number of hours. Take uh, 5, multiply by 5, and I get 25 doing it that way. So, um, And it all comes down to that uh, using that constant rate and turning it into a ratio. Once you get the ratio, you're good to go. Use your diagrams and uh, plug things in and find your solutions. Okay? That's it, folks. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.